Hi everyone and welcome to another video on screening guidelines. Today's topics are Barrett esophagus and bariatric surgery. Let's get started. We screen for Barrett esophagus every male patient above 50 years of age who has had GERD symptoms for more than 5 years. So we perform upper endoscopy in these patients and if we find intestinal metaplasia, which is diagnostic for Barrett esophagus, we have to repeat the upper endoscopy in 3 to 5 years to see for any changes. If we find though low grade dysplasia, we have to repeat the upper endoscopy in 6 to 12 months. Here in both cases we have to add PPIs, which are the proton pump inhibitors, the omeprazole, lansoprazole, etc. And if we find high grade dysplasia, we have to scope ablate this patient and we have to repeat the upper endoscopy in 3 months. The normal BMI, which stands for body mass index, is between 19 and 25 kg per meter square. Now, obese people who need bariatric surgery are the following groups. The ones who have BMI more than 40, the ones who have BMI between 35 and 39.9, and have obesity related conditions like the, the diabetes mellitus type 2, obstructive sleep apnea, hyperlipidemia, asthma, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic steatohepatosis, GERD or hypertension. And the last group of people who need bariatric surgery are the ones with BMI between 30 and 34.9 who have uncontrolled uh, diabetes mellitus type 2 or metabolic syndrome. On the step exams they love asking about contraindications. So let's go over the bariatric surgery contraindications here. These are people who have untreated major depressive disorder or psychosis or they have uncontrolled eating disorder uh, like bulimia and anorexia or they have severe coagulopathy, severe cardiac disease, they are currently drug and alcohol abusers or they are unable to comply to a lifelong vitamin supplementation. At the end of this video I would like to give you some bonus information on drug therapy in obese patients. So if obese patients fail to lose more than 5% of their body mass weight in 6 to 12 months using lifestyle modifications and change in their dietary habits, you can start them on drug therapy if they meet the following criteria. Their BMI should be more than 30 or between 27 and 29.9 kilograms per square meter and they must have obesity associated comorbidities, the ones we discussed earlier. So the drugs you can choose from are uh, for example Orlistat or Liraglutide, especially uh, recommended in patients with cardiovascular disease. And some experts also like using fentermine to pyramide and bupropion naltrexone. Now I want you to know this so when on exam day you see one of these as a possible answer, you can choose it because now you know that these are possible treatment options. This concludes today's video. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.